Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very large South Korean birthday skincare haul. The reason I felt the need to add birthday to it is because it's my birthday tomorrow. By the time this video goes up it will obviously already have passed. But anyway, so I kind of thought what do I want to treat myself to? For those of you that don't know or who are new to my channel, firstly, thank you very much for following me. Secondly, is my last day of 37. Tomorrow around 4ish p.m. I will be 38 years old. It was really important for me to treat myself because it's always good to treat yourself. Any excuse, you guys, you know, whether it's birthday, Christmas, the Thursday, it was a Saturday, whatever. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you'll remember that last July it was, I actually went to South Korea as well as Jeju Island, which is an island next to South Korea, but is part of South Korea and I fell in love with their skincare. Their skincare is absolutely excellent, it's amazing and I know that you can buy quite a lot of Korean skincare in the UK but a lot of the time the prices are very expensive. I can do a comparison because I've been to South Korea so I understand whether I'm being ripped off or not because I can compare the prices that I paid for certain products to the prices that you pay over here. So I was introduced to the company called Yes Style. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Yes Style. For those of you that aren't aware, they sell a lot of Japanese and Korean skincare as well as clothes, household items, etc. But a lot of people generally tend to go to them for their skincare needs. So I placed this order, which is a pricey order. It's quite a large order. Then I realized that they had an influencer program. So I actually applied for their influencer program. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I always feel the need to be completely transparent with you guys. You know that I'm an honest YouTuber. I never lie to you guys. And I thought if I can somehow get discounts for you guys, then I will. They accepted me onto the program pretty much straight away because I told them about my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram page. And they accepted me onto it. And I now have a discount code for you guys. Now, for those of you that are not influencers and won't be able to get the same kind of discounts that I can get, they also do a birthday month discount. So happens that September is my birthday month. So for the whole month of September, I can get an additional 12% off all items. They often have sales that go on for five hours, six days. So something that costs 40 pounds may now cost 15 pounds. It's all about checking the prices. They change all the time. And the more that you buy with them, their loyalty program gives you quite a lot back. After one order, I was immediately bumped up to silver status. And now I'm on gold status. I was like, okay. I will link all the products that I bought for you guys below in the info bar. I also bought a bunch of things from a company called Style Vanna, which is very similar to Yes Style, but Yes Style definitely carries a much larger range. And the reason why I went to Style Vanna afterwards is because there were still some things I wanted to get and they were actually cheaper on there because they were on sale at the time. So anyway, so I'm gonna get into the products that I have purchased. I've done a lot of research. I didn't just buy these just like that. At the end of the day, I watch channels like you guys watch my channel to learn things. And I watch a lot of South Korean skincare YouTubers learn what their experiences are. Also pay attention to their age and to see whether the products that they use are actually helping them to retain that youth. Let's get into what I bought. So in no particular order, let's start off with one of my favorite brands, for those of you that don't know, is the brand called Innisfree. Now I bought their Jeju Orchid Eye Cream. And this is probably one of the most popular items when it comes to Korean skincare. It's 30 mil, which is quite small, but you shouldn't be using a ton amount of eye cream anyway. I've not used this product before, but again, I bought it because I've heard such good reviews. It contains squalene, it contains niacinamide. Niacinamide, as you guys know, is a brightener. So for those of you that have got dark circles under your eyes, this is supposed to help with the dark circles to brighten that area. It's meant to keep that area moisturized as well. They've written on here, early action multitasking eye cream with Orchid Elixir 2.0, helps to strengthen, firm, smooth, nourish, and brighten the look of the delicate skin around the eyes. And you're meant to use it sparingly around the eyes. So despite the fact that this is quite pricey, as well as the fact that it's 30 mil, it should last you about a year, not even making it up. By the way, out of all of these things, only one thing I've used before, so they're all still in boxes. So this one here is by the brand called Neogen, which I'm quite a big fan of. I, I bought a couple of things from there when I was in South Korea. And this is called the Real Ferment Micro Serum. It even says on here that it is an intensive gel-like serum that contains 61% natural ferment complex and active ingredients like panthenol, collagen to help reinforce skin elasticity while delivering instant hydration and skin radiance. It helps to improve skin's natural strength 
for firmer, brighter and healthier looking skin. Right up my street. The one that I'm probably the most excited to use is this one here called Mugwort Essence from the brand called I'm From. Mugwort to me, I don't know, it sounds very Harry Potter-ish and I'm a big Harry Potter fan by the way. And what this is is 100% Mugwort extract. So there is nothing else in it other than Mugwort. And it even says on here, and obviously bear in mind English is not their first language so they kind of try to translate the best that they can. It says, I'm from Mugwort Essence Collects Gangwa mugwort grown with sea breeze and fog and ages for three years so aged for three years with traditional method the essence contains single extract of fermented gangwa mugwort that has calming ingredients and purification activities through slow release extraction experience relaxing mood and rich scent with nature of gangwa and now gangwa is actually a place in korea they've got a little map on here to tell you where it is and it says 100 percent right here so that obviously means 100 percent mugwort it comes in this glass bottle making it easy to recycle mugwort is meant to calm the skin it's meant to soothe the skin meant to purify and help troubled skin help with retexturization so it's a multi-purpose essence and I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Apparently mugwort is the thing in Korea in 2020. Quite a lot of brands apparently are adding mugwort into their line because it is that popular and that good for the skin. Next thing we're gonna move on to is a sunscreen. Yes, I went in hard with the sunscreens, you guys, because you guys know that I love South Korean sunscreen, Japanese sunscreen. The ones in the UK just don't cut it in terms of white cast, in terms of oiliness and greasiness. It doesn't always sit very well underneath makeup, too much effort, whereas Korean and Japanese sunscreens are the best of the best. Now this one here is from the brand called Skin and & Lab and it comes in a tube like this. Korean skincare generally comes in quite small tubes which is unfortunate. It means you need to buy it often. This is 50 mil. They're either 30, 40 or 50 mil. You never really get 100 mil. And it's called the Frey C Sun Lotion SPF 50 PA++++. So it says the sun lotion creates a powerful shield to protect skin from UVA, UVB rays and renew skin's moisture barrier. Persistent application of the sun lotion with vitamin C will help brighten the overall skin tone. Feel the dermatical differences now more healthy, radiant, beautiful skin under the protection of high UV filter. What it's also supposed to do is it's meant to control the sebum so there's less oiliness that appears over your makeup or your sunscreen. It contains vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, as well as a brightener. It also contains vitamin E, which is there to protect your skin's barrier and help heal the skin. And it also contains, bear with me, because I've had to write it down, Centella Asiatica Extract. It's for calming the skin, controlling hyperpigmentation, and it is also an anti-inflammatory. So this sunscreen, apparently is amazing. This one is also from Innisfree. You're going to see a lot of Innisfree today. This is the apple seed cleaning oil and it contains apple extract and apple seed oil. And it's basically, it says this refreshing cleansing oil enriched with apple seed oil removes even the heaviest of makeup. I've heard really good things about this. I've heard that it not only removes all stubborn makeup, but it also clears out your pores, leaving your face very fresh and refined. So I'm happy to try something like this. This essence here, I've bought quite a few essences is from the brand called Secret Key and this is the Starting Treatment Rose Essence. Apparently I've managed to buy the newer version, don't know why they changed the old version because I've never tried it before and this is absolutely massive. It is 150 ml, comes in a glass bottle, so luxurious and gorgeous looking and it says that it contains Galactomyces. Galactomy I don't know how to pronounce some of these words. Sometimes I feel like they're made up, but I like to believe that the Koreans aren't like the Brits and they don't make up things. So this is basically an essence which is to provide an abundant moisture and refreshes skin condition. So it contains 94% of these Galacosomyces, which is apparently a type of yeast. And what this yeast is supposed to do is meant to tighten the skin, it's meant to prevent wrinkles, it's meant to prevent sagging, it's meant to be soothing and calming to the skin, it's meant to control sebum, it's meant to help with texture, basically another multi-purpose product. So excited to use this. Like I said, 94% of whatever that thing is, 
and that is the top ingredient on here followed by rose water so again really looking forward to using this what i like about korean skincare is that when they say that this is the number one ingredient unlike in us and uk based brands when you look up the ingredient it's like number 25 when you look it up on the back of their boxes it's normally number one or two so they're going really hard with these key ingredients and then they sell it to you at 150 mil so basically you're never being robbed when it comes to korean skincare another innisfree item is this ginger honey ampule skin now for those of you that don't know what ampules are they're basically just like serums it's just another name for a serum love this look at it. it looks like pure honey that you could just drink it they're a lot thicker they're not as runny how you can see here this one is quite thick they've got smaller molecules within them so they sink into the skin a lot better than things like essences and toners and they also contain ingredients which are very targeted and specific to whatever your skincare concern is and they generally tend to cost more because the ingredients within it are quite expensive ingredients which is why it's very beneficial to your skin now this one here contains canola honey as well as ginger tea and something called Innisfree's Gyne Complex which is to protect the skin and to provide moisturization. It's meant to nourish your skin, it's meant to repair your weakened barriers in your skin and basically it's excellent. 200 mil as well. 200. Another Innisfree product is the Jeju Volcanic Blackhead Out balm it's meant to really dissolve your blackheads it's meant to control your sebum and it contains jeju volcanic ash which is great for removing dead skin cells jeju island is absolutely covered in dormant and maybe active volcanoes jeju island is such a natural island and there's so many things there that we can use for our skin whether it be internal or external health i would highly recommend going there if you guys ever get a chance just to see nature in its most natural, beautiful form. Another thing that I love about Korean skincare is that they're very similar to places like Sephora where they do sets of things. And the sets are generally decent size, not like in the UK where we get a set and it's like that big and it lasts you two days. And it's like someone sold you a tester basically. So this way you can actually test out things and decide whether or not you want to buy the full size it's called the good old green tangerine vita c dark spot serum plus set and this was relatively affordable as well you get four different products you get this uh sheet mask the main product in here is the vita c dark spot serum and then you get a cream and then you get a spot serum as well like a smaller more cream version good old are actually known in korea for their green tangerine range so the serum itself is meant to be absolutely excellent for brightening for helping with hyperpigmentation dark spots freckles that have appeared as a result of sun damage not everybody's born with freckles they appear over time due to sun damage some people don't know that they're just like oh i got freckles and i look cute this actually contains 70 percent green tangerine jeju extract Jeju Island are known for their oranges, their tangerines. It's what the island is popular for. You get the best, the most sweetest juice from that fruit. I can't even tell you. I drank the juice out there, pure juice. It was squeezed in front of me. It was amazing. If I'd known that if I'd thrown it on my face, I would have come back with brighter skin tone. I would have done it while I was out there. It's hydrating, it's brightening, and it's supposed to be absolutely excellent. Can't wait to use this. And then the last thing that I got from there, which you guys have probably seen in one of my previous video videos, which was a repurchase is this for this sunscreen from the brand can make tokyo it's the mermaid skin gel uv spf 50 plus pa plus 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 it's a sunscreen it's my favorite i absolutely love it to the point where i bought another one before i've even finished my other one i'm actually using this on my face today it sinks into the skin like velvet there is no white cast whatsoever so you don't need to rub it rub it rub it for ages it controls oil production i've noticed on my skin as well i've got uh, combination skin and I get an oily t-zone I definitely shine a lot less as a result of using this it does not interfere with my makeup it doesn't make my makeup move around I can't even feel it on my skin I love it all right now I'm going to move on to the stuff that I bought from style Vanna, which is also South Korean skincare all right don't laugh at me but I bought this when I did my South Korean skincare haul so I became obsessed at that point cotton pads and you can't get these kind of cotton pads in the UK we just get balls or round flat saucer looking things these are cotton pads plain so they're flat like you can see in the picture if you can see it here 
and I paid like one pound something for this and there are 80 in here. This is from Etude House. Good thing about these kind of uh, cotton pads and what a lot of people tend to do is they don't necessarily use it to wipe off makeup and things like that. What a lot of people tend to do and the trick is when you've got some of these essences and when you've got some specific area on your face that you want to target, you will soak this pad in the essence and stick it to your face and leave it there. It's almost like you're creating your own mask and a little bit goes a really long way. It took me about three months to get through one of these. I don't tend to use them every single day, only when I want to do that kind of treatment. Another thing that I got from watching Korean skincare videos is a bubble maker. Let me just take it out of this packet. So basically, you can pour either your cleansing gel or your toner. Like, you know how some toners are quite thick? Like, apparently the new Fenty Skin one is like a toner stroke essence. You can put it in here and then you squirt it and it turns into foam. So basically, you know the way with liquids is you can waste a lot of liquid when you apply toners to a cotton pad, you're wasting so much liquid. Instead, this will turn it into a thick foam, which will then sit on your hand, pap, 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 and that's it and you're done. And this was like two pounds something. And by the way, if you do decide to get it, you have to push it down hard, then squeeze it. If you can see here, the bottom bit is actually bent because there wasn't enough space. I'm probably just gonna cut off the end, but a great little tool. This I got from the brand called Skin Food, absolutely love Skin Food, and bought this wash off mask. I've got the black sugar wash, wash off mask, and this is the strawberry sugar wash, wash off mask. <laughs> red it's like that isn't it so it's meant to cleanse your pores exfoliate your skin and it contains strawberry oil oh my god i can oh my god it smells like ice cream i can smell it from here so it's a wash off mask with black sugar and strawberry seeds to help and refine the skin absolutely love their wash off masks really nice and exfoliating they don't damage the skin this you exfoliate rub on your face and then you leave it leave it for about five to ten minutes then you rinse it off your skin feels so soft and smooth and even though it is scented one thing that a lot of people don't seem to realize that when they have got these natural ingredients they actually it is the natural fragrance from that ingredient it's not like some synthetic fake fragrance so i'm really looking forward to using this another thing from skin food this is the royal honey 100 hour moisture cream this is 100 ml and it says that it is made with nourishing ingredients and, and gentle on sensitive skin. This contains honey extract, which is great for hydration, for soothing the skin, for calming the skin. It contains royal jelly as well as plant oils for nourishment and again, soothing the skin. It's supposed to be great as an everyday kind of daytime sort of moisturizer. So I'll be looking forward to using this. And it says in big letters here for sensitive skin, I've got sensitive skin. So for those of you that may have it as well, you may be interested in trying this. More sunscreen, <laughs> it's by Innisfree. And this is the Blueberry Rebalancing Watery Sunscreen SPF 45 PA plus 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 so it's only got three pluses but it's still high protection it contains blueberry fruit extract and that's all it says in english so i actually heard about this on twitter from um a couple of black women and if it's good enough for their skin it'll be good enough for mine because we all know that we don't want no white cast around here and if it's going to work for somebody with a deeper skin tone it will definitely work for mine again Innisfree is a great brand so I'll be looking forward to trying this as well I only got a little one of this because I just wanted to kind of test it out this is the Laneige cream skin refiner it's basically it contains white leaf tea water I don't know what that is and I don't know what it does it says what the benefits are but it's in Korean then it says the skin type in Korean then it says main features white leaf tea water in English. I get very confused about these descriptions. It's like they're 75% Korean and 25% English. But I think it's supposed to be a toner. I can't remember why I bought this. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying it. Laneige is a great brand. For those of you that are in Korea and are, are unaware, even though you probably would be more aware than I am in the UK, Laneige is now sold also at Olive Young, which is the Korea's equivalent of Boots. It's like a drugstore. They sell all kinds of skincare there. You couldn't buy Laneige from there before, but now you can. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is this hyaluronic acid water essence from the brand called Isn't Tree. Sounds so similar to Innistree. Free. See? Oh my God, I'm rhyming. So this is apparently a very, very popular product in Korea. Comes in this gorgeous looking 
glass bottle and it says on here there are eight types of hyaluronic acid in here it's a moisturizing essence for dry skin strengthens the weakened skin barrier boosts hydration for the skin and it's 50 ml it says a moisturizing essence which contains eight types of hyaluronic acid delivers moisture into the skin and it infuses a vitality. So it's something which is excellent for plumping the skin, hydrating the skin, moisturizing the skin, helping with anti-aging because that's what moisturizing your skin does. The older you get, the drier your skin can get, especially if you are a woman. That's hormone related. That's why men tend to look better than us when they get older. So unfair. Apparently it also contains barrier repairing ingredients in addition to all the hyaluronic acids and that barrier repairing ingredient is prickly pear. I've done some research in it before I used it. Like I said, I don't just buy stuff for the sake of it and I like the sound of that. And it's also meant to be very, very gentle on the skin. So again, really looking forward to using this. You know what I need to do now? I need to grow like five heads. Because how am I supposed to use all of these things at once? This is what happens when you're an addict. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed my birthday haul. Thank you very much in advance for your happy birthday messages that I know you guys will send me because you guys are beautiful and lovely like that as well. 38, wow, what can I say? Going into a whole new year. Anyway, I'll be really looking forward to trying these things out. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and places like that where I actually show myself using these things. I discuss using them. I will definitely be doing a lot more Korean skincare videos because at the end of the day, makeup is great, but if your base don't look good, your makeup won't look good. So what's the point, right? Anyway, I hope you guys are wonderful and amazing and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.